Quick crypto, bringing you quick Casper news. In my opinion, it won't take that long now before Casper becomes a top 10 crypto project. Equally, I don't believe it'll take that long for Casper to become a top five or even a top three project. But will Casper ever become a top one or even a top two to flip Ethereum? Well, in my personal opinion, not financial advice, of course, I have at least 10 reasons as to why I believe that Casper had the potential to one day flip Ethereum. And I'll be getting into the reasons why alongside some bullish crypto and Casper update, which showcases signs of an imminent breakout in the market and a new Casper all time high on the horizon. Now, the first reason is probably the most important one, and I'm sure you know what I'm going to say. It is the smart contracts now the sole reason ethereum is at number two right now behind bitcoin is because they are the founders the creators of smart contracts which are self-executing agreements on a blockchain which has given them the the edge over the rest of the crypto projects but casper Casper is revolutionary with multiple benefits over Ethereum already, even as of right now, as an unfinished project, if you will. And Casper are also in the process of building their own smart contracts, which is huge news and will allow them to create a more level playing field to catch up to and then even one day flip Ethereum. We had been given a warning a couple weeks back now regarding Casper's future and the current development of smart contracts and now the developers have had their open meeting where they unveiled the ongoing architecture work for integrating ZK opcodes that will allow smart contracts on Casper. ZK also known as zero knowledge opcodes are special instructions that allow for privacy preserving smart contracts. So by Casper integrating ZK opcodes, it paves the way for running smart contracts on the Casper blockchain, which could significantly expand Casper's capabilities by enabling features like secure automated transactions and creation of decentralized applications. Simply put, increasing Casper's functionality and use cases, which is huge, huge news. Now, it is worth mentioning Jonathan Sompolinski, Kappa's founder, highlighted in this meeting that his main focus is not actually smart contracts, but is achieving higher blocks per second and the completion of the Dagonite protocol. And also that smart contract is something that will take a long time to complete, estimate being 18 months or even more, I believe. But it doesn't change the fact that this is still going to level the playing field, allowing Casper to better compete with the likes of Ethereum, which is huge, huge news. I mean, look here, Ethereum right now does about 1 million transactions per day, and Casper just hit over 1 million transactions on the day of their poor launch of Casplex. So just imagine how much more successful Casper will be than Ethereum when the bugs are all fleshed out all of them are worked out when Rusty Casper is finished, meaning the blockchain will be running on 10 blocks per second as opposed to one. And then with the eventual inclusion of Dagnite, making Casper even faster, 30 to even 100 blocks per second. And then of course, the smart contracts. Also, Jonathan Sopolinski debunked a myth in the meeting that smart contracts on Dagnite will be a problem, like seemingly many people seem to believe, but it won't, which is very, very good news. Furthermore, to add just another piece of evidence here, the original creator of smart contracts being Nick Zabo, he can be heard in this interview stating that Casper's founders are people with a rare set of skills who are experts in Bitcoin security, which is huge news and further reinstates my belief that smart contracts will be a huge success on Casper. Take a listen. There is a guy named Aviv Zohar who's written some great papers. One of them is on Ghost, which is what Ethereum is based on. Um, and he's got a follow up to that whose name escapes me. And he's also written a co-authored a great paper on attacks against Bitcoin from the underlying network. So he's one of the experts on the security of Bitcoin, which is a, a uh, skill and knowledge set in scarce supply. So. <laughs> Not to mention there are also multiple clips of Ethereum's founder Vitalik Buterin talking about the protocols that Ethereum are running off right now and how these are adaptations of the Ghost protocol, the one founded by Casper's founder Jonathan Sompelinski. Again, huge, huge news. And the best part about this is that Casper has since surpassed the Ghost Protocol and are running on even more superior technology. So the founder of Ethereum and the creator of Smart Contracts have both openly praised Casper's founders, which is huge, huge news. And that's just four or five reasons already that I've shown you in this video. 
of why Casper had the potential to one day flip Ethereum, with their successful launch of the smart contract being one of the biggest catalysts. But let's just keep the ball rolling, shall we, with nine key advantages of Casper over Ether. It's decentralized nature, firstly, which Ether is not, as there are pre-allocations and ICOs. The fact that Casper is also scalable, which Ether is as well, but when there's too much activity or too much traffic, the gas fees for Ethereum become so extortionate, far too expensive. Casper transaction speed, thirdly, which already surpasses Ethereum, with the desire to come even faster, 10, 32, 100 blocks per second, and this is going to happen much sooner than you think. The fact that Casper is a fair launch, which again, Ether had pre allocation and ICO, so Ether is not fair launch. You have transaction costs, ecosystem efficiency. You have founders' expertise, which I showed you previously, Vitalik Buterin openly praising Jonathan Sompolinsky. And then you have the investment potential. There is no doubt in my mind that you are guaranteed to make a hell of a lot more money off an investment with Casper than you would with Ethereum. Casper is so undervalued, a very, very early project and it's still in development. And you'll make more money off Casper than Ethereum, frankly, probably any other crypto project in the market right now. And finally, though, the one that I skipped over being regulatory classifications, this is a big one because this is a very big grey area for Ether. It has now been determined that Ether is no longer a security, it's a commodity. But they did have a lawsuit filed against them which claimed that they were security. And then there's this whole ETH gate conspiracy as well, which is a whole massive great area. Ether is just a lot of unknowns effectively. But of course, Casper doesn't have these problems at all in the slightest because of its decentralized nature following in the steps of Bitcoin. Although, now that institutions have got a taste of Bitcoin through the ETFs, they want more access to the crypto market. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? They want to make more money. So it seems that the only next logical step is to file for an Ether ETF. And according to Bloomberg's James Safar, it looks like the launch date of an Ethereum ETF is set for next week on Tuesday, July 23rd, which is very big news for the crypto market. Ironically, next week is going to be massive, massive for crypto. Potentially next week, we will see this next leg up in the crypto market and a new Casper all-time high, as we will be seeing and witnessing the Nashville Bitcoin Conference, the world's largest Bitcoin conference history in the making. There will be many famous iconic individuals in attendance from Donald Trump to Kathy Woods to Michael sailor even members and former members of congress like Tulsi Kabard, she will be in attendance and speaking at this event which is huge news because there's evidently mass adoption here right now for crypto and it is in full force and this now makes it the opportune moment for Casper, as Casper is back roughly around the 18 cents region, which is only 8% away from its latest all time high, just short of 20 cents. And Casper is preparing for a breakout. It had a very, very good consolidation phase over the past couple of days, and there are many developments incoming. While Mount Gox has been moving their Bitcoin to unknown accounts, for this instance, $6 billion worth, yesterday US Bitcoin ETS saw $301 million in inflows for the seventh straight day, which is huge bullish news. And furthermore, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink, the CEO of the largest asset manager in the world worth over $10 trillion, just admitted on CNBC that he was wrong about Bitcoin, that he is now a major believer after studying it, doing his own research which is huge news, take a listen. You have been a leader in willing to embrace crypto. You yeah. have made it so that people can be in Bitcoin. We hear that you are thinking about Ethereum. These are incredible things. How, now, BlackRock is not known as a, uh, a gunslinger by any means. So you obviously must believe that this may be as an alternative. Is this an alternative uh, in order to be able, because of the a deficit, maybe something long term people should have? Absolutely. Um, as you know, I was a skeptic. <laughs> yes, I you know I was a proud skeptic, yes. <laughs> and I studied it, learned about it, and I came away saying, okay, you know, my opinion five years ago was wrong. Here's my opinion today. This is what I believe in today. I believe the opportunity today. I believe Bitcoin is legitimate. I'm not trying to say there's not misuses like everything else, but it is a legitimate financial instrument that allows you to have maybe uncorrelated, non-correlated type of returns. I believe it is an instrument that you invest in when you're more frightened, though. It is an instrument when you believe that co countries are debasing their currency, de debasing their currency by excess deficits, and some countries are. 
I believe we have um, countries where you're frightened of your everyday existence and have an opportunity to invest in, in a, a something that is outside your country's uh, you know, control, then you can have more financial control. And so I'm a, a major believer that there is a role for Bitcoin in, in portfolios. I believe you're going to see that as, an, as one of the asset classes that we all look at. I look at it as digital gold, as I said before, and I do believe there's a, a, there's a, there's a real need for everyone to look at it as, as one alternative to, I would say, the optimism that I have in the world. If you want to hedge hope, Bitcoin is not a, an instrument for hope, unless you're hopeful you're going to make a lot of money on it. <laughs> but it, I, I look at it as a vehicle in which you're expressing your, your financial acumen in something that you're more frightened of the world, you're more frightened of your existence. And I believe there's a great industrial use for it. And I, and I think a lot of people are missing that. This is insanely bullish. Predictions of seeing a 150 to 250K Bitcoin RV surfacing. And it is honestly hard to overstate just how big a deal this is for Larry Fink to keep giving these full throated endorsements of Bitcoin as a legitimate asset class for everyday portfolios. This is a very, very, very big deal. This will give everyone from the Gen Zs to to the boomers, everybody confidence in the potential of this market for those who have never heard of it and for those who already know of it like me and you. That's why betting against or minimizing the clear to anyone with eyes and a brain early success of the ETS has and will always be very, very dumb. ETS have been a huge success. We already got a new awesome house Bitcoin and we're not even in the full force of the bull market just yet. ETH has been a huge success, crypto is taking over and you cannot stop it. You have to adapt, adopt and ride this wave or you will be left behind. And with all these developments alongside what's happening with Casper, it seems highly likely that a breakout isn't coming. Casper has once again reached another new all-time high with their hash rate, now at 440.94 PHS, which is huge news. A higher hash rate correlates to a higher price in due time. Furthermore, Casper's ambassadors, representing over 30 regions now around the world, is is in massive, massive news, and their adoption is growing more and more constantly as they continue their development. Remember, you have Rusty Casper, you have Dagnite, the tier one exchange listing still to come for Casper, smart contracts all of which will play a major, major role in the future price of Casper and will allow Casper to one day potentially, in my opinion, of course, do your own research, <laughs> flip and replace Ethereum. There are more than 10 reasons why as I showcase in this video, so remember, do your own research and don't be emotional, be logical.